Hey, I'm Mushlings and Outsiders! Welcome back to this new episode of the Musha Sprinting Academy for Beginners 101. This is the last episode of the Cool Effect chapter. And today I'm going to teach you the best and easiest way to reproduce the Chrome Effect. Okay, before we start, we have to check some references around the web. Let's type how to paint Chrome or Chrome Effect on Google and search for the best pictures that are going to help us understand how the colors work there and to make a nice reflection for the chrome armor on our miniature. As you can see here, it's plenty of pictures. So we have to select the most useful ones. My main reference to study chrome is Ajime Surayama. And we can even look for some older painters who already made it and get some inspiration from them. This is going to be helpful too, especially if the miniature is the same we are going to paint, as it could be um, a Space Marine or a Stormcast. Okay, we're done. Okay, so now that we have our pictures, let's study them. The coolest and weirdest thing for the Chrome effect is to set the horizon. That's the trigger point that allows us to reproduce a nice, nice reflections on our armors. As you can see from all our references, we always have some brownish tones below which represent uh, the earth. And some, light, and some light blue tones for the sky on the upper part of the horizon we set before. Once we've set the earth and the sky, we can see that there's some pure white reflections right on the horizon line. Why this? Because we always have the maximum light next to the maximum shadows. And as you can see, we have a smooth transition of the earth side that comes brighter towards the bottom, while we have a darker sky towards the top of our armor. Why is this happening? Because our armor has the same behavior of a sphere. So let's take a sphere. No, not this one. We need a chrome sphere. Okay, this one is perfect. As you can see, the farther we go from the horizon, the darker our area will be, especially on top. And why is this not happening towards the bottom? Because we have the secondary reflection from the earth below our armor that reflects the sun rays and hits the lower part of it, making it brighter. Okay, now that we are done with theory, let's put this into practice and stay focused. Let's go, guys. Okay, I'm going to use these colors some white, some light blue, brown, orange, and black, of course. This will be used for the sky part, while this will be used for the earth side of the armor. So first thing first, we have to set the horizon, as I said earlier. So let's apply it with each single section of the miniature. I'm going to use white as a sketch to help me having a brighter light blue later and skip some layering step. This is the most important thing because for each section of the mini, for instance, the abs, we have a sort of reset of the lights and shadows. We have to treat them as single elements detached from the rest of the miniature. A good reference is to take a picture of the miniature primed under the zenithal light and enhance the contrast with some filters from our phone.
Now we can start blending some light blue for the sky side, as I'm going to show you in a minute. And in case you have problems with blending, I really suggest you to use the 50-50 mix. And in that case, check out my videos in the academy or even my kid boo exercise to practice. Once done, we are only missing the earth side. So let's take our brown and orange tone and blend them as showed you before in the theory part. Okay guys, let's see if you've been paying attention before. Where do we have the lighter part of the earth side? Above or below? Okay, if you answered above, please rewind the video and restart from the theory part. While if you answered below, well, good job guys, you got it. Okay, let's paint and blend the earth side. Even here, if you have problems with blending, use the 50-50 mix method.
Okay, and now we only have to announce some white reflection and black shadows. So let's apply them following our references and being careful to the shape of the armor we're painting to have a proper light behavior. Okay guys, here is the final result for your quick and easy chrome armor effect. So guys, I really hope that this tutorial is going to be helpful for you and I want to remind you that my painting academy is completely free but if you like to support my work there's my link below in the description to my Patreon page or even better there's my special merchandising where you can find cool stuff and gadgets like this beanie. And of course uh, feel free to join my Discord community, I put the link below in the description as well. We are already more than 200 people who love painting and learning new techniques and making new friends. There are both Italians and foreigners, thus don't be shy and join us. Thanks again for watching, see you in the next video with OSL and eyebrush chapter and don't forget to warm up your brushes!